Why Africa is the hottest continent? Hello, explorers. Welcome to another informative video presented to you by Desplor and thanks for watching. It is always a pleasure for us here at Desplor to break down phenomenon and explain certain happenings to make them clearer. In this video, we shall take a deep dive into why the African continent is the hottest of all the other continents in the world. The world's second largest and second most populated is also the hottest continent on Earth. It was believed that the town of Azizia in Libya witnessed the world's hottest temperature on September 22, 1913, at 57.8 degrees centigrade, but the claims have been now debunked and replaced with the Death Valley in California. But still, Africa remains the hottest continent on Earth with places like Dalol in Ethiopia, witnessing average temperatures of 33.9 degrees centigrade throughout the year. More so, temperatures along the Red Sea coast of Eritrea and the Gulf of Eden coast of Somalia are usually uncomfortably hot, especially during the day with temperatures ranging between 57 and 63 degrees centigrade. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Africa can be said to be the hottest continent in the world. In some places on the continent, the temperature ranges between 57 degrees centigrade and 63 degrees centigrade. There were several factors that account for the heat Africa produces, despite high precipitation, and in this video we will take a look at why that is so. So without much waste of time, here is why Africa is the hottest continent on Earth. The climate in Africa is varied with climates such as the equatorial climate, the tropical wet and dry climate, the tropical monsoon climate, the semi-arid climate, the desert climate, and the subtropical highland climate. Temperate climates are rare across the continent except at very high elevations and along the fringes. In fact, the climate of Africa is more variable by rainfall amounts than by temperatures, which are consistently high. African deserts are the sunniest and the driest parts of the continent. Owing to the prevailing presence of the subtropical ridge with subsiding, hot, dry air masses, Africa holds many heat-related records. The continent has the hottest extended region year-round, the areas with the hottest summer climate, the highest sunshine duration, and more. Owing to Africa's position across equatorial and subtropical latitudes in both the northern and southern hemisphere, several different climate types can be found within it. The continent mainly lies within the intertropical zone between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. Hence, its interesting density of humidity. Precipitation intensity is always high and it is a hot continent. Warm and hot climates prevail all over Africa, but mostly the northern part is marked by aridity and high temperatures. Only the northernmost and the southernmost fringes of the continent have a Mediterranean climate. The equator runs through the middle of Africa, as do the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, making Africa the most tropical climate. Globally, Heating of the earth near the equator leads to large amounts of upward motion and convection along the monsoon trough or intertropical convergence zone. The divergence over the near equatorial trough leads to air rising and moving away from the equator aloft. As it moves towards the mid latitude, the air cools and sinks, which leads to subsidence near the 30th parallel of both hemispheres. This circulation is known as the Hadley cell and leads to the formation of subtropical ridge. Many of the world's deserts are caused by these climatological high-pressure areas, including the Sahara Desert. Temperatures are hottest within the Sahara regions of Algeria and Mali, and coolest across the south and elevation within the topography across the eastern and northwest sections of the continent. The hottest average temperature on Earth is at Dalol, Ethiopia, which averages a temperature of 39.9 degrees Celsius throughout the year. The hottest temperature recorded within Africa, which was also the world record, was 57.8 degrees centigrade at Azizia, Libya on September 13, 1922. This was later proven to be false, being derived from an inaccurate reading of a thermometer. Apparent temperatures combining the effect of the temperature and humidity along the Red Sea coast of Eritrea and the Gulf of Aden coast of Somalia range between 57 degrees centigrade and 63 degrees centigrade during the afternoon hours. The longest temperature measured within Africa was 24 degrees centigrade at Ifrane, Morocco on February 11, 1935. Nevertheless, the major part of Africa experienced extreme heat during much of the year, especially the deserts, steppes, and savannas. The African deserts are arguably the hottest places on Earth, especially the Sahara Desert and the Danakil Desert, located in the Horn of Africa. 
Another reason why Africa is so hot is because of its location and rainfall. Situated between 37 degrees north and 34 degrees south, Africa mainly lies within tropics. Only the northern and southern tips have a Mediterranean climate. Africa is therefore a predominantly warm continent. The mean annual temperature is above 20 degrees centigrade throughout the tropics, and the annual daily temperatures are only higher in the desert. The rains determine the climate. The equatorial climate extends over the Congo Basin on the other side of the equator. Temperatures are high and vary only slightly over the year. There is a regular rainfall totaling in excess of 1,500 mm and sometimes as much as 2,000 mm. The tropical climate is characterized by alternating dry and rainy season. The difference between the seasons become more marked the nearer to the tropics. Similarly, there is a greater variation in temperatures and total rainfall decreases. Due to the size of the continent, the influence of latitude predominant in the northern hemisphere, there is a series of tropical belts parallel to the equator. The wet tropical climate is similar to the equatorial climate in the amount of rainfall, but there are two dry seasons of unequal duration from August and December to March in the northern hemisphere. This type of climate prevails along the Gulf of Guinea, from Sierra Leone to Côte d'Ivoire. In the Great Lakes region, apart from a high ground, rainfall is less than 1,500 mm per annum. In the dry tropical or Sudanese climate, the dry season lasts longer between 3 to 6 months on average. The drought is accentuated by the Hamatan, a dry warm wind that blows towards the Atlantic. The wet season known as the Hivernage arrives when the sun reaches its zenith. The annual rainfall exceeds 1,000 mm in the south of Mali, but remains below 800 mm to the north of Nigeria. The climate in the Sahel is affected by increasingly rare rainfall less than 500 mm, which only occurs during a short period of 3 months at the most. There is also extreme irregularity from one year to the next. Temperatures much higher than in the wet regions can reach 40 degrees centigrade at the end of the dry season. South of the equator, the seasons are the reverse of the northern hemisphere, and the climate zones run from east to west. Arid and semi-arid zones are confined to the southwest, whereas the coastal strip along the Indian Ocean to the southeast has a very wet climate, known as the monsoon. On average, temperatures are lower than in the northern hemisphere. These differences are linked to the proximity of the sea and the relatively high relief in the southern part of the continent. In Madagascar, the eastern side of the island is very wet, as it is exposed to trade winds, hence receiving over 2,000 mm of rainfall per year, as opposed to the western side which is downwind and much drier. The desert region extends unevenly in both tropics. In the north, the Sahara covers over 8 million km2, whereas the Kalahari and Namib occupy a less extensive area in the southern Africa. Rainfall is frequently below 100 mm per year. High atmospheric pressure and cold sea currents result in drought that is accentuated by strong winds. Daily temperatures can get up to 50 degrees centigrade and annual ranges between 25 to 30 degrees centigrade temperature variations are high. A Mediterranean climate is confined to the northern and southern tips of the continent. Summers are warm and dry, winters mild and damp. Temperature deviations are greater inland, where frost and snow are frequent. In the Maghreb, the mean annual temperature is 18 degrees centigrade on the plains, but only 14 degrees centigrade in the Atlas Mountains. Great parts of North Africa and Southern Africa as well as the whole Horn of Africa mainly have a hot desert climate, or a hot semi-arid climate for the wetter locations. The Sahara Desert in North Africa is the largest hot desert in the world and is one of the hottest, driest and sunniest places on Earth. Located just south of the Sahara is a narrow steep called the Sahel, while Africa's most southern areas contain both savanna plains and its central portion contains very dense jungle regions. The equatorial region near the intertropical convergence zone is the wettest portion of the continent. Annually, the rain belt across the continent moves northward into sub-Saharan Africa by August, then passes back southward into south-central Africa by March. Areas with a savanna climate in sub-Saharan Africa such as Ghana, Burkina Faso, Darfur, Eritrea, Ethiopia and Botswana have a distinct rainy season. El Nino results in drier than normal conditions in South Africa from December to February and wetter than normal conditions in equatorial East Africa over the same period. Despite this, Africa has also experienced some freezing temperatures such as Ifrin in Morocco experienced the lowest temperatures on 11th of February 1935 at 24 degrees centigrade. 
Snow is an almost annual occurrence on some of the mountains of South Africa, including those of the Sederberg and around Ceres in the southwestern Cape, and on the Drakensberg in Natal and Lesotho. Conclusion Africa comprises 54 countries and is the hottest continent and home of the world's largest desert, the Sahara, occupying 25% of the total area of Africa. The northern part of the continent is mostly a desert of arid region, while the center and southern parts are having dense jungle parts and savanna plains. Around 60% of the land surface of Africa comprises dry lands and deserts such as Sahara, Namid, Kalahari, and the Nakio Desert. These places experience exceedingly high temperatures, making Africa the hottest continent in the world. That is why countries located near deserts are hotter than others. Furthermore, to the desert conditions, the precipitation in Africa is very little, and given most of the continent has just two seasons, this greatly tends to make the continent hotter. What's more, Africa's location near the equator, tropics of Cancer and Capricorn, is also a contributing factor to the hot climate the continent experiences. Last but not the least, the winds in Africa are strong and travel extremely, bringing hot winds from the deserts located in the continent, which leaves Africa with no other choice than to be the hottest climate on earth. There you have it, Dispurus. That is why the African continent is the hottest continent. If you did enjoy this video, do all to give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.